everybody. Good morning. It is Monday and I have finished the journal for Mona. So I'm going to get that on its way tomorrow and then I will be starting to make um, one or two nature junk journals and um, then get back to some more of these. But um, this one was my Daphne's Diary inspired and it's a laminated cover. I did scrapbook paper. This is bow bunny paper that someone had gifted me. I have a, a crocheted lace and then a vintage pink ribbon on the both the front and back. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I made a little uh, decoration for the front. Just a piece of Tim Holtz paper with one of his little sayings <clears throat> and brick brack sewn around it and this bunny from the Daphne's Diary magazine and then I have a button sewn on with some pink variegated yarn or floss. And then it's tied with a white seam binding and some pink ribbon just to continue with Daphne's Diary's kind of look of a, I don't know, she just has this pretty look. Of her stuff that's kind of um, simple but beautiful and bright but pastels and I don't know I just love her stuff so much and just fastened with grommets and just put these down with some packing tape so they would stay back and front I have pockets just some tea stained index cards with a little bit of lace Type trim across the top. Here I just have a couple of cards from Tim Holtz and I put them in because they had yellow flowers. And there here this is for Mona. She can if she wants she can pull this out and write her name and date and any information she wants on this. <clears throat> then I just put these little bunnies from Ali, uh, AliExpress on here. I didn't do any stamping in this one. Um, I did a couple of stickers, but that was pretty much it. I kept it pretty simple. Um, this is supposed to be a little bird clip, and I got my um, business card and my little note to Mona on here. So um, I'm just going to do a flip through. We have a Daphne's Diary magazine pages, lots of those. Um, this is just um, a piece of acetate with white writing on it. I probably should get some more of this for these journals because this is really a nice paper or a nice addition, I think. So maybe I should write myself a little note in the middle of this flip through. Acetate with writing and then some white polka dot vellum because I feel like those are very good things to pair with Daphne's Diary. This is a page from the Daphne's Diary agenda. <clears throat> Here's some tea dyed paper with it trim sewn on. This is um, actually from a little quote book I have, Everything Grows With Love. This is the Flow Magazine's little quote book. And I put that there on this page that I took from a bird book I had, kind of a bird nature book, but it had a uh, seashore on it, so on one side. And so I took that because Mona liked this. I, like, I asked what she liked, so like daisies and roses and pink and yellow and um, a couple of trees and then the seashore. So I had a napkin someone had given me with four C shell type things on it and so I um, uh, mod-podge those on to a back of tea stained paper and so they, they can become like a journaling card. And this is the back side of that and what I did is I took this picture from the Daphne's Diary magazine. It was a picture of the, uh, the water and 
I did it so it's a flip up so it can be written on the back and written on here. Um, this isn't open, I just didn't, it's just not sealed all that great. And this I just put a bow bunny leftover paper from the cover and I cut out all these little bunnies uh, from the Daphne's Diary magazine. They're so cute and I thought she could use those to decorate in here. And this is the back of a poem from a poem book. This is a magazine and here I did <clears throat> a tab with a yellow button and daisies, of course. And then um, here, oh, what? Stuck to that. <laughs> here I put um, just a little picture of a boat and then another one of those cards with the decoupage napkin. This is from a nature book and I'd put a I did a little fabric collage with a little rose button and put that on here. Here's just from the Daphne's Diary and I just put a couple of fun um, stickers in here also from Daphne's Diary. And this is another nature book. And this of course is Daphne's Diary. And what I did is from the bunnies, I made a two pocket thing. So back here I put this, I have some of these index cards and I picked the one with M for Mona and what do you know, it was pink. <laughs> and then this is the back of the cute little playing card made into a journaling card. So I just put that there. This is just from a drawing book. This is from, um, actually from the night before Christmas, but they had the bunnies. Because, oh yeah, because she, she liked bunnies and dogs. So I'm trying to get some bunnies and dogs in here, of course. And then on the back I put this yellow polka dot bag. And this is from Daphne's Diary as well. And a little tea stained doily. This is from AliExpress. This is from uh, Marjolaine Bastine's... Um, agenda and I just felt it went really well as a little journaling card, journaling space. So very cute and I just tuck that in the envelope. Okay and some tracing paper, tea stained. <clears throat> this is from the Daphne's Diary agenda. And I just took this, um, I don't even remember where this was from, this, but I put it, I sewed it on this coffee stain paper. And this is a dog, like how to draw a dog and a lion on this side. This is a tree, because she had picked willow tree, but I didn't really have any willow, pictures of willow trees. So I just got some trees here and I was thinking I had, I think the other side might have the willows. I don't know, but it, anyway, this is a tree. This is from a Peter Rabbit book. And here's another one of those journaling cards. And this is just some scrap of paper I had. This was supposed to be a belly band all the way down, uh, but I sewed on the other side, totally forgetting that I had the belly band here. So I ended up sewing the belly band shut, unfortunately. However, you can stick something here on here or right here for the belly band. So I'm just going to do that and a pit card, old pit game card. And I just distressed with some pink oxide distress ink. Here, this little pocket I made. I got this from um, an agenda. And this is a bear, and next to him is a, this is the guy, and next to him is the mama bear, and that's on another. I have that tucked in elsewhere, but I just sewed it on some tea-stained paper and tucked that in there. This is from, looks like that Peter Rabbit, a part of the Peter Rabbit book. Uh, just some tea stained paper with a sticker on here. And this is Daphne's Diary. And I just, this is also Daphne's Diary. And I just slipped in 
a page from a woman's journaling notebook. Coffee dyed. Here's a little white button. Some more tea stain paper. Here's a dog and a fox. Here's another little pocket, and this is from Daphne's diary, and it's because it has a bunny on the egg. And then coffee stain paper. And Daphne's diary and a tea stain paper. Um, this is from Daphne's diary as well, and I made an envelope. And I tucked in this from Marjolaine Bastine, but because it had the sea life in it on the back of some coffee coffee stain paper. I, if I'm always in doubt about the coffee stain paper, I just can smell it and I know it's coffee stain paper. So we'll just tuck this because it's a little big so I just tucked it like this with a clip. This is from a Christopher Robin book. This is the other tag. There's the mama bear, the girl bear. She's so cute. And there's that paper stuck into this bow bunny paper pocket. And this is kind of that, this is sticker paper. So at work I send these mailings out and this is the paper that's left from the mail, the dress labels, the labels I use. So it's kind of waxy on one side and the other side is shiny. Daphne's diary. Here's some more tea stain paper with that trim sewn on. Daphne's diary. This is a music book um, page. And I think I did it because of the tropical. Daphne's diary. The bunnies. Here's another thing from Daphne's diary and just a couple of places where you, 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 you can, she can journal and stuff on. And then here is a pink heart doily. Here's that polka dot vellum paper and Daphne's diary and this is the middle of the book and all the middle of these have a little poem or something like this and this had roses or I think they're roses or peonies and then I tied um, to the inside a little pink owl with a little spacer and then a little yellow bead. And then I tuck this in the middle. This is from Daphne's diary. This is called Roses. So it's a little thing about roses. And since roses was one of the flowers she chose, I thought this was absolutely perfect. And then some tea stained paper and another little AliExpress bunny. And I just tuck that in the middle. So then you come back and um, so all the papers, of course, will be the same papers on the other side. Here was that music book, Song of the Marines. And um, there's a little pocket here. And and I didn't put anything in it. I'm kind of surprised. <clears throat> I do try to put tried to put something in every spot that I had, but obviously I missed that. So I'm going to put in a little and just put in one of these little quotes. This one, because it's got a bunny. Friendship is a simple thing and yet complicated. Friendship is on the surface, something natural, sometimes taken for granted, something taken for granted, and yet underneath one could find worlds. That's by Jamaica Kincaid. So actually, that's super cute. And we will tuck that in here. <clears throat> There's that tea stain paper with some more lace. Here's a pocket with another one of those Mod Podge shells. And then this was a shell too from her. This is the other side of that sticker paper. And what I did is I took a glassine bag and distressed it in pink, put a ribbon and this flower from Daphne's diary because it had daisies. And then you pull this string, this uh, embroidery floss out and you have a little fawn, a little postcard that was in the Daphne's diary and it's so so adorable but it can be like a journaling spot. The other side of that Christopher Robin page, Daphne's diary again 
and tea stained paper. More Daphne's diary. There's the little daisy. Here's another little tab. And back of that nature paper. Some graph paper. Here's a side pocket with a little piece of paper from the agenda. Some daisies there. And the back of that other one. And here's just a flip out of some tea stained paper. Here is the Peter Rabbit book. So here's Peter Rabbit. And then I put an AliExpress uh, sticker here. And this is one of the tiny playing cards that I made into a journaling card just by, f and then I just flipped up the corner here and distressed it. This is another um, thing, this is from an agenda. And I just figured it would be a good space, um, either for writing or just using it, taking it out and using it as a bookmark would be another option. Here's a little side tuck spot with this little piece of paper with the yellow that so can be journaled on. Okay, so here's the willow tree. And this is a willow as well. So that's where the, the willow came in. And then a lion, and here's the dog drawing. And more of Daphne's diary. And I love this because it not only does it has yellow, but it says, smell the sea and feel the sky, let your soul and spirit fly. Tracing paper, here's a daisy uh, pocket and some another coffee stain page from that woman's journal tucked in here. And this was just the back page of that um, Night Before Christmas book. And another little art page. Daphne's Diary. This is the other side of the nature journal and I just flipped it so it could be written on or whatever. The graph paper. Here is a little dog from Daphne's Diary and another little piece of paper for writing on. Here's this button with lace. And this is that napkin that just kind of flips. And the other side of the poetry page. The other side of that C page. Um, here we have the other side of the tea stain paper with the trim. And here's the other part of the daisy and the um, acetate with the writing and the last page. And that is it. And it is done and I can, oh and there's charms. So here's a little a little row of, they look like daisies to me, so I used those and just a little charm that says love on it. And that's just attached there. And then I'm going to tie this one more time. And then that is it. And it will get sent on its way to Mona. I'm very excited about that. Now, as you guys know, I've got like five or six more of these to make. And I'm going to be making them slowly. I'm just going to take time because I have to, like, I've got to stop now and take a break and work on, it's time, you know, to work on the nature journals. And then I'll come back to the Daphne's Diary. Or I'll do that one, you know, in, in between times. And let you, I won't be doing, like, the whole series of all the parts. But I'll probably, um... I'll probably do a flip through of the other ones that I make so you can see what they look like when they're done. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and it was a pleasure for me to work on it. And I hope you have a great week. Bye.